Hello everybody, Zeriax here, and today I am going to review a mod for you guys. Now this mi Minecraft mod is called Minecam. I'll have the link in the description and everything. Anyways, let's get on to what you guys wanted to see. God, I hate how much slack sometimes. There we go. Alright, so first off, this mod requires the Buildcraft mod, and it requires power. So, what I set up here is my little generator, and that's my house, as you guys can probably tell. So, we can just flip these on. Or not, because they have no water in them. Alright. So, um, yeah, it requires the Buildcraft mod to power, and basically what this Minecraft mod does, it lets you turn most uh, natural resource items into elements. Now, um... Sadly, I have no idea what the crafting recipes are. I use too many items to pack everything in. But, um, that's one thing that I'll see if I can get uh, mentioned to the creator. Because, uh, recipe book doesn't work with this at all. I downloaded that and it just crashed my Minecraft. So, I have no idea what the recipes are for these. But, um, let's start off with showing you guys what everything does. So, first off, I got myself a chemist's journal right here. And this is a microscope. Um, the microscope, you can put anything under, and it will show you what you can get. So, clay right here gets you castellanite. Now, I've already gone ahead and checked out some of the um, some of the stuff here. So, let's see. Blaze powder gives you plutonium. Carrot gives you carbon and hydrogen. Uh, and you can even put as many dyes as you want in here. So, you can put in magenta dye, light gray dye, cactus green, cocoa beans. So, yeah. All this stuff is really cut, really cool. So see, shimic, shimic acid, pumpkin, cure bit uh, glycine and titanium dioxide, and s stone gives you a bunch of stuff if I remember correctly. So yeah, it can go to like iron, it can go, it can be a, like a ton of stuff. Uh, watermelon gives you, well, water. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Yeah, but I checked Snowball, and it gives you uh, five water, I think. Anyways, so now it just shows what it gives you, and you can use this uh, chemist's journal here to <coughs> sorry, to check all the stuff that you uh, downloaded, or not downloaded, uh, researched. So you've got the microscope. Now we get to the chemical dis decomposer. Now what we need here are test tubes. Test tubes, again, I have no idea how to create all this, so a mod creator, please put that in. I'm begging you. I have no clue how. I had to hack everything on survival, and I didn't want to do that. All right, so now what we're going to need, we need pow to power both these. These are the only two things that need to be powered, the chemical synthesis machine and the chemical decomposer. Now what we do here, we can go ahead and put anything in, and it'll come out as a uh, chemical. So yeah, you can do it with any dye, as I will show you right here. So yeah, you can put in any one you want. Carbon black, potassium permag permanganate. Some of these are hard to pronounce. So uh, I'm going to put in a snowball here. That right, gives us water. Now flour. I think yellow flowers are the only ones that work in this machine, but I haven't been able to actually get anything from this, so... There. That's what I want. Shimic acid. I don't know what it does, but it sounds cool. Like, really, shimic. Oh, shit. Alright. Now, uh, let's... Oh. It's on, apparently. Okay. That works for me. Yeah. Alright. Um. So, yeah. You can see that goes up fast. Now, let's see. We can put in pumpkin, cubitacin, gas tier. That gives me ubitrium and nobelium. Now, Nobelium, what we want to do, we want to instantly put it ins inside this chemical storage here. It's radioactive, and if you leave it, leave it in a regular regular chest or your inventory, it will decay, and radioactivity will spread throughout your world. Well, not exactly. It'll just hurt you after you close. Now, let's see what else. Uh, a carrot. Okay, that didn't do anything, really. Oh, wait, don't I have some carbon black? No, I don't. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and put most chemicals inside the chests here. 
Now, some of these, so let's get water here, because that's a good example. Uh, wait, where is my snowball? I don't know. Oh, well. Uh, so we can actually go ahead and put this water in here, and you see H2O, right? Well, what we'll get is, if my chemistry is correct, you'll get two hydrogen um, vials and one oxygen. So let's go ahead and put that in. So see, two hydrogen and one oxygen. So you can actually go ahead and make stuff. So, uh, hang on, if I can find something that has sulfur in here, I can show you. Ah, here we go. Culper 2 sulfate. And let's put the sulfate in. So there we go. Now, um, sulfuric acid, if I remember correctly. Uh, oh, that's right. We're going to need to put everything into this machine right here. And this machine is the chemical synthesizer, which uh, basically you can build elements together. So what we're going to do here, we're going to go ahead and put four oxygen, put that in there, two hydrogen, and one sulfur, in, and there we go. That's how you make sulf sulfuric acid, and this I just remembered off by heart. And then you go ahead and get your test tubes back, and you can go ahead and put that back in here. Now. You can also eat some of these. Now, sulfuric acid, it'll just hurt you, right? But if we go into creative mode for a sec, uh, you can actually find some really good ones. Like, uh, let's see, what? I remember finding some really funny. Ah. So, we're going to get uh, methamphetamine and psilo psilocybin. Silosebin. There was another one as well in here. Keratin, I think. Kind of. Uh, where's? Oh yeah, testosterone was one that I found in here, and I really like that one. That one was. Mm, that one is tasty. Yum yum yum. Ah, here we go. Testosterone. So yeah, you guys can go ahead. So anyways, some of these give you abilities. So let's just switch back to survival mode. Now, uh, we'll test out some of these, so let's test out methamphetamine. We'll go outside for this. Ah, uh, no, damn it, there we go. Alright, so let's try meth. So this is actual meth, and basically it super, it lets you go super speed. Yeah, some of, these are really cool ones, if you ask me. Woo! So if you always wanted to go faster than the speed of light, take meth. Yeah, that's right, folks. I'm, that's what I'm telling you. Take meth, you'll run this fast. Nah, I don't. I'm not with drugs still. I don't support them. All right. So then there's that. Then there's psilocybin. I can't remember. Oh yeah, psilocybin gives you night vision and nausea. Now the night, just the night vision. Look at that. It was nighttime and I didn't even plan it. Night vision. Look at this. Okay, yeah, the screen's gonna be trippy for a bit. Um, so yeah, basically though, if you guys don't know what psilocybin is, psilocybin is shrooms. I right, shit you not, guys. I just took shrooms. This is what happens to me. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, now for testosterone. Testosterone gives you speed and strength three. Seriously, I tried this out in a village, in a flat, um, flat build village. Oh my god, it was just crazy. Uh, so let's see, we got the sulfuric acid from that. Um, okay, the chemical storage, it basically makes sure that, uh, radioactive stuff either doesn't decay, or no, it doesn't decay, and, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't decay, it, so it won't change forms, so it won't go from nobelium to yttrium eventually. Or nobelium to damn, whatever the fuck. Oh, that's right. There's one that I wanted to show you guys. That's the nether star. Now, if you look in here, the nether star gives you 64s of helium, 16 of copernicum, 64 of carbon, and 364s of hydrogen. So let's go ahead and put that in here. We won't even have enough for this. Oh, here's a Copernicum. So, I'll actually go ahead and bring one with me. So, let's put one in my inventory, and I'll show you guys why you don't want Copernicum. 
or uh, any kind of chemicals. So let's just wait a bit. And I'll show you what these things in here are. So these are blueprints. Now, oh, here we go. So the Copernicum decayed and it does damage to you. So now it's Rowan's, Rowanthenium. So yeah, that's kind of what the radioactive ones do. They'll decay and you can get higher, you can get high chemicals that way. Or other chemicals. So you can basically build like a whole periodic table out of those. Anyways, now for these. So here's fusion chamber, blueprints, chemical vat, and there wolves 9 by 9 Personally, I don't know what the hell those do. But to get them, what you need to do, you need to go down here, and uh, you need to talk to the guys with the white coats, the librarians. And so they'll give you blueprints. So, yeah, I kind of changed my fridge into a little uh, basement cellar thing. Alright, so, um, again, these won't need power at all. Um, but to test them out, what we have to do, we have to go over here to these, uh, to the, what's it called? Blueprint projector. There we go. So let's put in chemical, oh, no, bad. Alright, let's put in the fusion chamber blueprint, and it'll basically show you guys the fusion chamber, what it'll look like. Kind of. Um, personally, I don't know what the hell is up with this. You can even try breaking it in creative mode. It really doesn't do anything. <laughs> so let's see what we need. 181 fusion walls and tw 241 tungsten plating. Again, I don't know how to do this. Now for direwolf's 9x9, nine it's nine, another cool thing. That's uh, that. Okay, you can stop projecting. You know that, right? Uh, let's see what else. Fusion chamber blueprints. Or um, the chemical vat blueprints. Yeah, again, some of these, I just have no idea what... Th uh, personally, I don't have no idea what the hell this thing's supposed to do. So, yeah. Mod maker, please explain some of this stuff. This, All this stuff I have had to figure out, and I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I'll be honest. Alright, anyways, you guys, that basically concludes this mod. So, thank you for watching. This is Zaryx saying goodnight. Please like, comment, subscribe, and tell all your friends about my videos. And, uh, yeah, that's really it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.